Welcome, Waffle Waffettes. We are back with the brilliant Lawn Mowing Simulator on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in the previous video, we did contract number two, and it did not go very swimmingly at all. For some reason, we had a collision fee at the end of the level, so I must have collided with something in the level. Not sure what I collided with, because I'm pretty sure I didn't bump into anything, but maybe Casper the Friendly Ghost was sunbathing on the grass, and I drove over him or something. I've got no idea, because I didn't see anything that I collided with. And we also had a bit of an issue with our strimmer, where it refused to cut the grass, so I thought I'd cut a long line of grass that I didn't even cut. So when it got near to the end of the level, I still had quite a few percent that I needed to do. And I had to recut all of that section that I thought I already cut because the strimmer decided to be weird. And that ended up with me finishing the level over the time limit, which got rid of my uh, time bonus. So yeah, the uh, previous video didn't go very well, to be honest. It was a bit of a bloody nightmare, but... Hopefully contract number three will go a lot better. But before we jump into contract number three, uh, we've unlocked the headquarters now and we've unlocked a bunch of new things we can do. So I'll quickly show you it. Right here you've got the uh, upgrade option. This is for upgrading your current headquarters and you can add bays to it that will allow you to buy more lawn mowing equipment and store it and then you can choose from different lawn mowing equipment to take on missions and stuff. Over here you've got your Purchase HQ. This is where you can buy a completely new headquarters. At the moment we've got the Red Wall building, but we can buy this bad boy over here once we've got 200,000 pound, and then this will have unlimited bays available for you to upgrade with. And then you can get all of the different machinery that you want. Then uh, you've got this over here, which is advertisements. This is where you can spend money to uh, have adverts run for a certain amount of time, like on YouTube and uh, it will increase your reputation. Over here is where you edit your company, and this is where you edit your player. Then over here, obviously, is where you do your contracts. This is where you buy your vehicles and maintain your vehicles. And this tab over here is actually where you can get loans, but obviously, if you get out a loan, just like in real life, you've got to pay more back. So if you get like 2,000 pound, you might have to pay back 3,000 pound. So don't recommend doing this unless you really need to. But I think now that we've uh, got our headquarters, I think we have to start play paying rent. I think it tells you somewhere, actually. Monthly maintenance amount, £250. Yeah, so every month we need to pay £250, which I don't think is that much, to be honest. We should be okay with that. Yeah, I think we should be okay. I mean, we've got 1026 in the bank at the moment, so we could pay the rent for the next four months, so we're all good. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's get into our next contract then. So what we got available? I think we might do this one actually, the Jefferson Garden. Yeah, we might do this one. Millerbrook. Did we do this in the previous video? Complexity 2. I swear we did this in the previous video. I'm not sure. Old Nook Cottage. Oh, I know what that one is. That one's a flipping nightmare. Yeah, we're not going to hurry to do that one, that's for sure. We're going to go with this one. Now, uh, this one, what is the... 20 minutes. I don't, I don't think we're going to get this one done in time. Yeah, recommended deck width, 130 centimetres. So you want to have a uh, grass cutter, a lawnmower, I should say, with uh, a big blade on it, really, so you can cut more grass. Ours is relatively small, so we're not going to be able to cut enough grass. And you also need to have a mulcher or a collector. See, requirements. You can't just bring the lawnmower that spits grass everywhere. So uh, we need to bring our... Well, we our, our one's got a collector anyway. Grand check time, six minutes. That's pretty reasonable. Lovely. Okay. Well, we ain't got any other employees. So once again, it's going to be me doing it with Dave. Once again, we've only got this to bring. And we've only got this to bring. Lovely. Let's get straight into it then. <clears throat> Hopefully this one doesn't end up being a 36 minute video. <laughs> Alright, so the cut height has got to be between 5 and 6 centimetres. 6 minutes to check, 20 minute recommended time. 99.50% of the cut requirement. Okay, lovely. Alright. Holy shit, look at this! Uh, we can't look at that yet, we can't look at that yet. We can't, we've got to pick up stuff. What's that? What is that? A spoon? Or is it one of those things that you throw the tennis ball with? You know those things that you can pick the tennis ball up with? What's that? 
Oh, Lewis paper. I wish all of the items were this colourful. It makes it a lot. It makes it a bloody. Yeah, what? How many dog tennis ball throwers do they have? All I do is run around and wait for the little eye to pop up. Because <laughs> sometimes you can't see anything. Sweet. Oh shit, there's another one. Thought we were done. That's why they gave me a bit more time, I guess. It's got to be like somewhere near the edge, doesn't it? I'm guessing. Well, maybe not. Lovely. But yeah, as I was saying, oh, look at this. Look at this. The flipping dude's got a bloody Lamborghini. A bloody Lamborghini in his drive. And what's that in there? Look at it. Look at this rich git. He's got himself some sort of like Porsche wannabe. Got himself a Jaguar. Got himself a fucking Lamborghini Merchalago in the drive. And this cheeky git is only paying me 410 quid. No wonder he's rich. He rips everybody off. Or she. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, right. We're going to try and do this as quick as possible. We've only got 20 minutes to get the time bonus. I don't think we're going to achieve that, but we will give it a go. Let me quickly fill up this bad boy. Lovely. Now let's uh, get straight into it. Right, what was the length? Six centimetres. As I mentioned in the previous video, as you can see, this level looks like it's going to be a lot, a lot easier for us to do, purely because the um, there's nothing to like worry about when you do the strimming. There's no like flowers or anything that you can destroy. Obviously you can still get a collision bonus, which I've probably already got. I, I feel like every time I drive off of the uh, off of the ramp from the back of the pickup truck, I feel like I'm getting a collision then. I'm not sure though. I just need to be 100% confident I don't bump into anything during this mission. I think the worst thing about this mission is there's like a lot of things in the way. You've got like a lot of trees you need to use the strimmer on. But I don't think we are going to get through this level in 20 minutes just because our lawnmower is not big enough so it doesn't cut enough grass at once. It needs to be a lot wider. You know like the ones that you see over at your local park, we need to have one like that. We'll, we'll try, we'll see, how, we'll see how much we can get done, we'll go as quick as we can. Obviously, we sometimes have to slow down as well because if you don't, you're going to break the grass. It's normally when you go up the hills. Hey, look. Morning. How you doing, love? My name's Dave, so I suppose I should wolf whistle up. <laughs> there you go. That's it. That's a sexual harassment charge for Dave. He's going to get fired now. That's be reputation down the drain. <laughs> oh... Oh, but don't, don't, but if you if you uh, if you do work in the construction industry or you do have a job like that and you do see a pretty lady walking past, don't don't, don't start bothering her. Don't start bothering her because I think it does actually frighten the ladies. I think they do feel very nervous. Just don't be intimidating. If you're going to compliment a woman, compliment her, you know. But don't don't be dodgy about it. Don't be dodgy about it. Especially if they're on their own. If they're in a group, then they're not, they're not going to be as afraid. Then, yeah, if you're going to bust out a wolf whistle, I don't think it will bother the ladies as much. I'm not a lady, you know, so I don't know. They might not like it either way, but, yeah, I think I think ladies feel intimidated with that kind of shit. So uh, it's probably best that you actually, you know, say something nice. Like, oh, good morning, my dear. You are looking rather spectacular this morning. She'll probably still slap you, though. <laughs> So that's quite a, quite a gentle, gentlemanly thing to say. Good morning, my dear. You're looking rather spectacular this morning. Just like every morning. And then, you know, give her a tip of the old cap. He's so motionless when he drives this lawnmower, isn't he? Dave, what are you dealing with, Dave? 
I feel like Dave's got a few demons he's not talking about. He just gets on a lawnmower and he just completely, completely is in the zone. He's just there in his mind, thinking about life, thinking about his struggles. He just hops on a lawnmower and that's it. He's no longer, he's no longer part of this world anymore. He enters his own world. <laughs> he's just so, so emotionless. Just a slight little wobble of the arm when he has to turn the lawnmower. What are you dealing with, Dave? Come on, mate. I know I'm your boss, but you can tell me about it, mate. I'm a, I'm a very good boss. If you need some time off to, you know, deal with some things, I'll give you time off, buddy. Don't worry. I'd be a very, very good employer. That's for sure. People would love working for me, Wolf and Wolf. That's, that is one thing I would be a thousand percent sure of. I would treat my employees the way that they should be treated. But just a word of warning, I am very, very, very strict with hard work. If I notice any kind of laziness, I will be very angry. But other than that, I'm, I'd, be, I'd be a very good boss. As long as you work hard, do your job, put in as much effort as possible, go above and beyond the call of duty, because I will be overpaying you most likely. I'll be paying you what I think you should be paid, not what they tell me to pay you. I'll be, I'll be going over the limit probably. So uh, just for that reason, I want you to go above and beyond in your job, as I'm going to go above and beyond in your pay. So just a word of warning for anyone that wants to work with me in the future, if I become big on YouTube and I need to hire some uh, employees to, you know, manage things like my email for me, if I'm getting loads of, loads of sponsorship uh, deals and stuff being sent to my inbox, I need to hire someone. So uh, you have to hire a bloody lawyer as well, fuck me, you have to have these contracts read over so I don't end up agreeing to some shenanigans that's bad. <laughs> God, especially with all the fine print, I can't be dealing with that, I'm busy, I'm busy making videos. Not sure if I will ever hire an editor though, I would love to hire an editor because I hate editing. The most tedious, boring part of YouTube is editing. When you edit like a T-Wolf video, it's different because then you get to see the video come together. So it's a bit more enjoyable, but when you're editing just the gaming videos, no, it's so fucking tedious. So hiring someone for that would be delightful, but... Yeah, I don't think I would. Because, you know, it's, it's my job. I'm the one making the money. It should be me doing it. It's my channel, after all. But who knows? Depends on how busy I get. If I ended up like KSI, then I would hire an editor. Because he's doing the music, he's on tour, does the boxing stuff and the training for the boxing. You ain't got time for editing when you're doing stuff like that. But if I'm just, you know, this is my job and this is all I do, then, yeah, I'm going to keep editing. I can see those two little streaks of grass over there that I uh, left, and it's irritating me. <laughs> if it's irritating you as well, Wolf Morfet, so I do apologise. We'll we'll deal with them when we get the strimmer. I'm just trying to be as quick as possible because I want to see if I can finish this in time. I really don't think we will, though. No matter how perfect we drive, it's uh, it, the, the lawnmower is just not big enough. We're already on six minutes, and we've done. Eh. How about we got, we got 20 minutes, don't we? I think emptying a lawnmower might slow me down a bit as well. I don't think we're going to be able to cut all of this without emptying the lawnmower. So, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it might be very close. It just depends on how quick I am with a strimmer, I reckon. And how many straggly bits of grass we leave behind. And also how close we can get to the tree without leaving big chunks around for the uh, strimmer to deal with. Because the strimmer doesn't, it's not too fast when you use the strimmer. It's pretty slow using the strimmer. And I think the grass might be a bit thicker in the center as well, so that might, might mean I need to drive a bit slower. Look at these like, uh, lawn mowing lines that we're leaving. See, it, it, it just looks good, doesn't it? Looks like I'm a professional. But this is why my reputation should be on maximum already. just so much better cutting the grass in this game. I think what I like the most about this game, I don't know if I've already mentioned this, I might have mentioned this in part one, so if I did, sorry for repeating myself, but I don't think I did. But um, when I've cut the grass in real life, at my own house, I, it's probably my favorite thing to do. I love cutting the grass, but um, I have a really bad reaction to cut grass because of my asthma. Like some days, if I'm cutting the grass, it could actually lead to an asthma attack. Sometimes it can get bad. So when I'm cutting the grass, I've got to be, got to be relatively careful. 
you know, if, if I'm starting to have a bit of a bit of a trouble breathing, I need to, you know, have a break and maybe puff on the old inhaler a few times before I carry on. But uh, I do love cutting the grass. But obviously, when I do it in lawnmower simulator, I get to cut the grass and not have to worry about suffocating, possibly. <laughs> Unless, unless my mate over here, Dave's got asthma as well, which hopefully he doesn't. But uh, he, we get to enjoy cutting the grass without the side effects. I don't have hay fever or anything like that, I don't think. But um, yeah, I have like a, an allergy to the grass or whatever it would be called. Maybe it's like the dust that's in the grass, I guess, the cut grass. Because I remember when I used to like go over to the park with my mates and we'd be fighting and stuff and rugby tackling each other and then we'd be rolling around on the floor. Um, if it had been a day where they cut the grass, I would immediately start feeling tight chested. It was a flipping nightmare. Especially if I forgot to bring my inhaler like an absolute prat. Then I'd have to ride my bike all the way home from the park, normally about four or five miles, whilst not being able to breathe properly. My own fault for forgetting the inhaler, I guess, but still. I very rarely forgot it though. I've always been very careful with that kind of stuff, you know. I've always had to be somewhat mature. Since I was a kid, I've had to be mature. I've never been able to be like a full-on stupid kid. I've always had to be somewhat mature because of the asthma and other things that I've had to, you know, deal with. <laughs> bloody nightmare, bloody nightmare. Wouldn't wish asthma on anybody. Even if Adolf Hitler was alive right now and someone said, right, Beowulf, you can make him suffer with asthma, I, I would probably still have to say no. Because just knowing that he feels like that would make me feel iffy. <laughs> Even though he would deserve it, the prick, but no, nah, I, I couldn't do it. Same with heartbreak, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Even my worst enemy, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Nah. Horrendous, that is. Heartbreak is such a horrible thing. This is probably all of the things that Dave is thinking about as he cuts the grass. <laughs> it's just there with his Eminem music playing. He's probably got a bit of NF playing through his headphones at the moment. I know these are not like music headphones. They're just like noise cancelling headphones. But I like to pretend that he's wearing headphones with music. So uh, don't start correcting me in the comments. I know that it's not music headphones. But uh, I'm just pretending that it is. But I reckon he's probably listening to a bit of NF at the moment. And we all know NF. The raps that NF makes is like uh, early day Eminem where it's more meaningful. Because nowadays, Eminem just raps about random stuff. He just shows off his skills, basically. Back in the day, Eminem had much more meaningful raps. Nowadays, it's just about random stuff and showing how fucking great he is, what a lyrical genius he is, which he is. He's an absolute legend. <laughs> but there's not as much meaning as there used to be. Except in um, uh, Eminem Darkness. That's, a, that's got a lot of meaning. That's a very, very clever song, that. Darkness is very underrated. If you haven't listened to it, listen to it. Eminem Darkness from um, Music To Be Murdered By Side Eye. Listen to it. Because it basically talks about the shooting in America, you know, when that guy in Las Vegas was up in the uh, hotel shooting people all at the concert. It's basically about that, but it's combined with his fears of being out in front of an audience and worrying about people not showing up to his concert to see him. It's like two things mixed into one, and it is genius. So genius. Really got to listen to the lyrics with that song. It's, when he does stuff like that, that's when Eminem is the best for me. That's why I like some of the stuff. That's the thing with Revival. A lot of people don't like Eminem's Revival album, but for me, the lyrics were fucking sublime. But the, the music was disgusting as shit. Rick, I think, who was it that did the music? Like Rick, Rick Rubin or something, wasn't it? That don't work with him ever again. <laughs> the music was horrible. It did not match Eminem at all. I don't know. Maybe you guys and girls disagree. Any of you that listen to Eminem, but I did not like the. Uh, I liked the lyrics in Revival. Things like A Rose. That song is brilliant, but it's the, it's the music. The soundtrack is just weird. The instrumental, I should say. That's just weird. I know I left a big chunk of grass there, I do apologise, but we'll have to get it with a strimmer. I really, yeah, we definitely ain't going to get through this in 20 minutes. I'll probably get relatively close considering I'm using inadequate equipment, but yeah, we're not going to, 
we're not going to uh, get this done. Which is a shame, but mind you, even if you do finish these levels in the time limit, it doesn't give you that much money. <laughs> well, I don't think we've collided with anything yet, that's for sure. I've been leaving quite a few streaks, ain't I? That's not good. Because that's the kind of thing that really screws it up when you're very close to failing. <laughs> if you're very close to failing the time limit and you've got a lot of streaks of grass, yeah, that's when things go wrong. I need to stop rushing. I'm not going to make the time limit either way. I feel weird driving this way around in a circle now. <laughs> I feel I feel dodgy. I'm going like left instead of right. Feels feels weird. I don't like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get down here and then we're going to come back around. There we go. Now we can drive the right way around. It feels weird going left. <laughs> Very weird. I was actually having a look at some of the... Uh, simulation games on the PlayStation Store because these simulation games they're generally a PC thing they don't too often release on PlayStation or consoles in general but I was having a look at some of the ones that were on the PlayStation Store there's a, there's a couple on there that look pretty damn good actually there's one I think where you're a bus driver and depending on like what happens in that game that could be pretty damn funny depending on if there's like actual NPCs that get on your bus and depending on what kinds of like random things can happen I reckon that could be a funny one uh, like bus driving simulator or whatever it's called and then there's another one called um, I think it's car mechanic simulator where you basically you're like a dad in a garage and you're just building up an old banger doing everything from scratch you know all the engine all of the uh, all of it welding everything painting it that sounds like it could be pretty damn good but we'll do those if we do do those it'll be a, another time I'm not going to do too many games like that because I know they can be boring so uh like to watch. So maybe maybe eventually we'll do it. Oh, I left a big chunk then. Just like certain bits of grass are just a different colour sometimes in a different lighting and it, it makes you miss it. Oh god, I should not have drove like that. I could have messed the floor up then. I'm feeling a lot of vibrations, I just don't know if they're like me colliding, if it counts as me colliding with something or whatever, I don't know, it's a bit weird. Looking at the time right now. Well, mind you, the streaming bit's the bit that takes forever, and we are already on nearly 18 minutes yet. Yeah, we can, we can sprint around as much as we want. I don't think it's gonna. It ain't gonna happen, more for vets. The dream, the dream is dead. There's, there's no chance.
Okay, I think we're done with the lawnmower now. Hang on a minute, might as well do this bit. Alright, we can do the rest of that with a strimmer. Okay. Yeah, I swear that, that, that cancer's a collision. I swear, it must do. Oh, come on, Dave. I don't even know if I'm cutting it properly by doing that, so I probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't gonna make it. Yeah, we're not making it. We've only got 40 seconds left and I've still got a good few percent to do. And all the trees as well. Yeah. <laughs> if we had a, a much wider lawnmower, so we could have done like the brunt of the cutting with the lawnmower first, then it would have been much better. I was leaving grass on the uh, pathway then. Don't want to be doing that. These rich gits. No way. They'll definitely find me a big chunk of money. You have Grandma Margaret that will find me like, you know, 10p for ruining her tulips or something. But then these rich gits over here, just because there's a bit of grass on their drive, will find me like 50 quid or some crap. Because that's how rich people act. That's why they remain rich. I don't know why people do I don't know how you can be rich and store so much money in your bank. Like, well, why? Obviously, you want to have some in your bank for when you die. You know, you can you set your kids up for life and that. But other than that, like, why? What, what do you, why would you want billions in the bank? Like, what are you going to do with it? No one needs that amount of bloody money. Fuck me, I could be perfectly happy with just one, one million and that would be fine. That would probably last me and my family forever. Probably be able to retire on a million quid with how I live. Just live off the bloody interest, most likely. little bench over here. It's looking pretty damn good. Nearly done as well. Oh, come on, that should have been a bloody percent by now. I keep trying to press a jump button. <laughs> keep trying to press a jump. Why is it not telling me I'm done? Like, where have I, I, have I haven't left a... Oh, thank you. Got two blades. Oh, I better get a thumbnail this time. Right, let me... Uh, let me put my strimmer away and get me thumbnail. Unlike in the previous video. Sorry about the previous video's thumbnail. I might have done something to make it look a bit better, actually. Because I, 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 got, I got annoyed. <laughs> so I just uh, ended the level. Should we get a no minute? There we go. Lovely jubbly. Very nice. Alright. How the hell is it a 35 minute video? It's not a 35 minute video. It's a 30 minute video. Oh no, never mind. I paused up the intro twice. That's why. <laughs> okay. Right, I see, the, I see uh, the collision. I see how much we've got to pay for collisions that I never had.
There we go. Okay, well, thanks for watching Wolf Wolfets. Hopefully you're enjoying this uh, playthrough so far. And yeah, like, share, and join the pack today.